All right, what's up guys? So today I'm not actually going to be playing Toho Live because it, I find um, doing 1cc attempts on camera kind of stressful, so that's why I decided I'm going to do them on my own time instead. So today I have two different um, two different 1cc attempts to show you guys that I recorded during practice. And honestly, both of them are really good. Like, they're really good um, runs. So, I'm gonna show them to you guys today. And I will, uh, I guess, give commentary. The commentary might not be about the game, even. I might just say some random BS. But, yeah. So, let's show the uh, first clip here. So this is um this is my first attempt that I'm gonna show off right here. Both of these attempts, by the way, I managed to get to Kaguya. And both times were of course unsuccessful. But I'm thinking that my third or maybe fourth attempt. I will finally beat her, and then we can unlock the extra stage. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. And yeah, the, com the quality of the video might not be the best, but it is what it is. But yeah, um, if you guys didn't pay attention to my last few uh, episodes of Toho 8, um, I decided that I'm going to be doing this playthrough with Sakia and Romilia because Romilia has probably my favorite charge shot in the whole game because Romilia's charge shot, you can basically plant it wherever you want on the level and it'll just shoot bullets as long as you're in Romilia form, which really fits my, it really suits my playstyle. <laughs> Toho's, yeah. <laughs> it really suits my playstyle because I typically like to stay in focus mode as much as possible since I can get more precise with my movements. So, ha being able to use Vermilia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just. I, I died to Wriggle, so I just decided to redo that. Don't worry about that. That that's just um a really dumb mistake that I made. But yeah, because of the fact that Romilia's shot can like shoot wherever whatever position you want, I typically find it very useful for bosses to just have Romilia shot like in the middle and like going straight up. That way I can focus on dodging while I'm still actually while I'm still like hitting the boss, which is very useful. So yeah, I mean, um, nothing too special about regular stage. Um, I will say though, I've gotten a lot better at going to the POC to get everything, which is um, I think. That's definitely helped a lot. I might try and find more places to to get the POC. Because I want to get, you know, as many points and power as early as possible, basically. But yeah, you can see I'm, like, going to the, the top of the screen as much as possible. But I'm not trying, I'm not going so much that I'm getting reckless and killing myself, you know. So, basically, that's it. I love how the sprites in the, in this game, in all these Toho games, though, are just like the official artwork, but shrunk down. <laughs> it's just shrunk down official artwork. Get reckless. By the way, Jose, what did you mean by Sea of Mare last night? I, I wasn't... I didn't really question it, but I, I am curious what it means.
It's a song from Mario Sunshine. Really, now. Is that the, um... Actually, now that I think about it, is that the area... Oh, let me fix the chat box. Is that, um... Is that the area where, like, after you beat the eel? Cause I, I do like that song. I forgot that it's called that, though. By the way, in my second attempt, I got really close to beating her last spell, but I'm really bad at those. I'm so bad at dodging them. Try and shoot these things with Sakia. The familiar summoners. <laughs> it sounds better than Dire Dire Docks. That's probably the hottest take I've ever heard. But it's not a bad take at all. Mario Sunshine just has some really underrated songs, though. I, really, I find it really funny. We talk about Toho while I play Mario, and then we talk about Mario while I play Toho. <laughs> Never, it never lines up, does it? Honestly, I always wondered, how are these games even made? Like, how the fuck do you make crazy backgrounds like this? Like, are they just flat images, or are they like 3D? Because I always thought Toho 8, I always thought these Toho games looked kind of like pseudo 3D. Like, it actually looks like you're flying through the area. And you know, another thing I just realized is I've never really paid all that much attention to the spell card backgrounds. But like, when a boss has their spell card up, like, it changes to a unique background. <laughs> it's more relaxing. Yeah, you can see, like, Mystia, she has, like, flowers and stuff as part of her spell card background. I've never really paid much attention to the spell card backgrounds, but they're really well done. I think probably one of my favorites is Kayane. Yeah, the quality on YouTube is going to be a bit rough later, because this is a pre-recorded video, and then it's this video- this pre-recorded video is being recorded on top of that. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see I was panicking a bit in this fight. It's getting- like, it's getting, getting, getting kind of shitty. Well, Jose, if you're gonna play Mario Sunshine again, I really recommend you play Mario Sunburn. It's Mario Sunshine, but with a bunch of quality of life shit in it. It's basically Mario Sunshine, but more polished. <laughs> so, play that version. It's way better, I heard. Yeah, it lets you pick the Shine Sprites in any order you want. Excuse me. I always manage to fuck up on Kine stage for some reason. I don't know why. It's really weird. <laughs> like, the last thing you'd want is to fuck up on stage three. But yet I do I tend to do it anyways. So yeah, maybe, so today I might do another 1cc attempt, and I'll let y'all know uh, if I end up succeeding with it. And then I could show that off. 
Uh, the only 1cc attempts I'm gonna show are the really good ones, like the ones where I managed to get to um, Kaguya, and I end up like dying halfway through her fight. Those are the one. Those are the good ones. But like, if I die too much, if I die too much to like, I don't know. Um, my my. Okay, so I will go over my last few 1cc attempts basically. In this attempt that you're seeing right now, I died to Raisin too much. And in my attempt from yesterday, I died to Reimu too much. So, both are, ki both are kind of, um, both are kind of shitty for different reasons. Mario's man. Yeah, look at Kainé's spell card background, though. It's like, it's got like clocks and stuff. Or whatever the hell those are supposed to be, like, gears. I really like them. Yeah, going to, going to the top of the screen to get all those points is, like, super satisfying, though. I gotta do- I gotta do it more often, though. Because if I can do it more often, that means I could potentially get, um, the 1100 points quota. But honestly though guys, I was so close to being Kaguya. I mean, you'll see it in the second attempt, but I got halfway through her final spell card before dying. Which is really good. Mario's Mansion's a real mod. Is that just Luigi's Mansion, but you play as Mario? Because I think I've heard of that too. By the way, I put this, I put this song in Smash, because it's really good. Oh, okay, first death bomb, I think. Well, the first really important death bomb. Oh yeah, I kind of panic bombed there. I mean, panic bombing is better than death bombing, though. Because panic bombing is when you think you're gonna die, but you don't actually die, and then you just, um, you live and you get to use only one bomb instead of two for dying. I think I panic bombed twice in this fight. Oh. That was just a- that's just, just a straight up death. Yeah, here's where I- I- that's another panic bomb right there. Yeah, so Kainé's fight ended up really sucking, honestly. Boy, does the bit rate love this fight. Anyways, here's Reimu. Reimu stage. I honestly really should practice this stage, because I still suck at this stage. I'm better at stage- I'm honestly better at stage 5 than stage 4, which is kind of ironic. <laughs> like, what I mean by that is I'm really bad at dodging the bullets. Like, the fairy bullets. I always- I just can't dodge that for the life of me without using a bomb. But the fact that I've gotten much better at stage 5 is great, though. I also need to practice stage 6, but I can't practice stage 6 because I haven't unlocked it. That's the problem. You just kind of have to learn it. Yeah, so that's where I just kind of panic bombed there. Raymu.
Yeah, I had a really shitty rain move fight on my second attempt. Either way, the reason why I love using Remilia is definitely one reason is because of the Reimu boss fight. Because Reimu has a lot of attacks where she sits in the middle and you have to dodge shit. But since the bullets are just constantly shooting through the middle, um, Reimu ends up just dying really fast and it makes her boss fight a lot easier. Well, maybe, uh, maybe while doing this I can pay attention to Reimu's patterns. She can be a little unpredictable on where she moves. Yep. So, that really sucked. I, find, I still find it so weird that they put, like some enemies in between phases of the Reimu fight. I would like to think I'm getting better at this part, though. Yeah, I, I did pretty well this time. I've been kind of slacking on this this spell right here. Oh, this isn't a spell, but this attack I've been kind of slacking on recently. I've been kind of getting worse at it, and then I just bombed for no reason. That wasn't that bomb was accidental. I just misclicked the button. So yeah, that really sucked. Oh yeah, and I also got, look at that, if you see, if you notice, I also got the time bonus. Which is the first time I've ever gotten this, that time bonus on Rainbow stage. It's really funny, because when you start doing 1cc attempts, the time stops mattering. The only thing the time's good for is the score at the end. Oh yeah, and then I kind of fucked up the Concentrate spell. It's safe to get those points at the top of the screen, by the way. Grazing. I could have sworn I had something to say about that. I don't know if it picked that up or not. Anyways, here's stage five with all the boony fairies. I find that really funny. They just decided to give the boonies. They decided to give the fairies boony ears. <laughs> I swear to god, every time I hear this song, I just think a fucking party is about to start. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh yeah, I need to get better at memorizing these patterns, because... 
sometimes I get greedy and I go for the points. But then I end up dying because I try I think I get too greedy. Yeah, I usually just like to bomb Tay because Tay is really fucking annoying. Well, you're better off just using both your bombs on her. And look at that, I have eight lives. What could possibly go wrong with this run? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Anyways, this part's pretty easy because the bullets all target you, so you can just misdirect them. Honestly, these bullets aren't as hard as they they look. They're not as hard to dodge as they look. I, I think they're a lot easier now. <laughs> but I fucked oh, that up. Well, I said something. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Anyways, here's the boonie fight. The shitty boonie fight. Yeah, that's not good. Look, I was like, it's the Boonie, your favorite character. Yeah, I just started really sucking here. Second favorite character. <laughs> Anyways, one thing I noticed is you could just, like, sit here for most of the time and the bullets will just fly right past you. Which is kind of neat, honestly. Yeah, I panic bombed there again. I need to get better at this attack in particular. This attack kind of stumps me sometimes. Oh my god, I'm making way too many mistakes. What the fuck? Yeah, so many boonie mistakes. Yeah, as you can see, this fight went really terribly. <laughs> moon of truth, invisible full moon. Are they gonna make? Are they gonna make another Toho Bro. game? Are they gonna make another Toho game about the sun next? Unless I did that already and I'm just dumb. I mean, what's To? What's Toho? Uh, what's Toho Nine about? I don't know. Yeah, you can see I went from 8 lives to 3 lives. Which is really bad. 
And I think this is my this was my first time getting to stage 6B. Or final B, whatever you want to call it. Five impossible requests. And you know what, it's nice to look at the footage of this. Oh, the footage skipped there for some reason. It'll be helpful to look at the footage for this boss fight again, because or this stage, because I suck at doing this stage. I'm really bad at it. I mostly have trouble dodging like the red pellets. That's the part I suck at. I guess I should be shooting the familiars, huh? Yeah, bad, bad spot to be in. Don't let Aaron do that, by the way. <laughs> Alright, anyways, here's Galaxy in a pot. Which I think on this playthrough, I was pretty bad at. Yeah. I've gotten better at this spell, though. Believe me. This is as far as I've gotten. Lady, are there any injuries on you? There will be. None at all. Hey, who are you? Defeating Raisin and Eren and coming so far. It wouldn't be fair if you didn't have at least one injury. Too bad, I'm invincible on the night of the full moon. First I've heard of that. Hey, the full moon appeared at some point, my lady. I knew that, that's why I said it. This is the true full moon. I wonder when it was that this full moon vanished from the Earth, along with its power to drive people insane. This full moon is... Sakia, watch out! Yes, this true full moon will drive any human mad who look directly at it. Well, I feel fine now. I guess you'd be okay, Sakia. You're very well disciplined. Well, even without Sakia, I'm still invincible under this full moon. Ah, uh, isn't that a bit cruel? I will help you no matter what the situation. Please rely on me. Oh my, Sakia, are you starting to go a little insane? The moon granted many powers to the Earth. Most powers, such as moon magic, were originally those of the moon. Your companions include people who depend on the moon as well, don't they, Miss Vampire? So what? It's a full moon right now. That means we're invincible. Wonderful. <laughs> we Lunarians turn some on the Earth into monsters to regulate the Earthlings' impurity. But that's all over now. The Earthlings have sealed the monsters by themselves. All that's left of them are beings who don't know how to do anything but attack humans as part of some old contract. Our current daily life of drinking tea is much more enjoyable. I don't see what's wrong with that. Gradually, the Earthlings lost their fear of the moon and its night. They became more and more arrogant. The night no longer requires the light of the moon. The shorelines have no relation to the tides ebb and flow. And they even say they'll invade the moon itself in the end, don't they? <laughs> I've got no idea what those worthless humans are doing. But you're for the moon, right? Why don't you go back to the moon and fight the Earthlings there? I have a reason that I can't go back to the moon. I'm not an ally of the Lunarians, nor can I openly move on the Earth. You can't go back to the moon, and you have no place on Earth. You must have done something quite terrible. I've been trying to avoid bothering the Earthlings and avoid meeting the powerless people. An invincible lady and an invincible human. Would you like to test that claim that we're powerless? My five requests that so many humans in the past have failed to complete. I wonder if you can clear them. Ooh, this music. Yep, so here's my first real attempt at Kaguya. <laughs> you can see I only have two lives left. Oh, this music sounds familiar now. <laughs> Ooh. 
Dragon's Neck Jewel. This spell sucks, by the way. I suck at it still. <laughs> oh. I don't know how many lives and bombs we're going to need for this fight, but we have two shots at this left. And there goes one Not of them. so good so far, though. <laughs> Shut up, Minus. I was talking. Buddha Stone Bowl. <laughs> oh, boy. This attack's actually really easy, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay. And then this attack just comes out of nowhere and kills me. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. That's as far as we've gotten so far. Okay, that's um that's my first attempt. So I'll show you guys my second attempt next. Here's my second attempt at Toho 8 1 CC playthroughs. I didn't get the true ending. Not yet. See, I'd argue this one's even this one's even better. I didn't die as much to the Boonie, but I did die to Reimu, so it kind of make it kind of made it shitty. If I can get a run where I don't die to Reimu or um, Boonie much, then that would be a pretty good run. But that's gonna that's gonna take a lot of practice to get. <laughs> So yeah, I, I definitely want to do another 1cc attempt today if I have the time. I'm just counting this as my Toho 8 stream <laughs> for today because, uh, well, I haven't streamed in a little while and I've been doing 1cc attempts, obviously. So, yeah. to say about Riggle, this is just, you know, your usual fight. Like, the run doesn't really get interesting until Stage 3, but that goes for most of the Toho games anyway. I always heard people say that Riggle, when they saw Riggle for the first time, they thought Riggle was a dude, which, I don't know. The thing is, is I already knew that Toho 8 was like, or I already knew that Toho was a series where, like, every character is female. So, I didn't- I didn't really fall for that, like everybody else did. <laughs> I don't know if people still think that. It kind of reminds me of the So Nanoka video, where R Rumi is just talking to Riggle. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to watch that again. That shit's funny. It's just Rumia making, like, silly jokes and pissing off, uh, Riggle. Half the time. I don't remember what that video is called. You know what? Let me look it up. So Nanoka Origin. <laughs> Let's see what it's called. Um. Let's see. Um. It's called uh. It's called 10th Toho M1 Grand Prix Vermin Love Dealing with Fans. That's the video. It has like a hundred thousand views, so you know people have watched it.
I picked a pretty good time. I picked a pretty good time to stream, though. I'd say, cause you know, coffee's not responding to me. She's she's a uh, she's on a trip right now. That's why she's like out of town for like five days, so she's not gonna be online as much. So it means more time for me to stream, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, I just realized something about this stage. The, um... Technically, since the stage 2 mid-boss is at the end of the stage, some of the regular enemies drop bombs instead of Mystia dropping a bomb. Because I'm pretty sure Mystia doesn't drop a bomb in this game. Well, I don't know why I said it in this game. She doesn't drop a bomb, like most of the stage 2 bosses. So, I mean, that's kind of interesting. Let me just, um, see about that theory, actually. I don't know, I don't know, well, theory, well, you know what I mean. In the night. So Jose, you got all you did the you did an entire lunatic playthrough of this game, did you? Yeah, she does not drop a bomb at all. How hard is it to do lunatic in this game? <laughs> Insectors. Thankfully, Mystia is really easy to kill. Honestly, the only time where I really panic during the Mystia fight is during her final spell card, and even then, I don't really tend to muck fuck it up, muck it up. Yeah, I'm sure, muck it up. I don't muck it up much these days. Any time we muck it up is a correct term. I find it really funny though that I have a Marissa Fumo and yet Marissa is nowhere to be seen in this playthrough. It's kind of funny. I don't know how often that's gonna be the case for Toho games. Like I don't know how many Toho games I'm actually gonna beat with Marissa because this one I feel it's just way easier to do it with Saki and Romilia. So I guess we'll see. Yeah, no deaths. No deaths on that fight. Pretty simple shit right there. I'm gonna up my volume a little bit. Might honestly practice the stage and see how much I can get away with going to the top of the screen. Cause I really have to use the bathroom. Hmm. Now the question is, do I pause? Should I pause the recording or should I just let the one CC attempt keep going? I don't know. Or maybe I can just hold it in. Either is fine. Hmm. 
Definitely one of the stage three songs of all time. Oh yeah, probably one of the biggest mistakes you can make for um, Kainé stage is letting the familiars live. Because then you get shit like this that starts to happen. And I ended up bombing because I got stuck in the corner. <laughs> yeah, you don't want shit like that to happen. Bad, really bad idea, you end up wasting your bombs. using a bomb. I feel like I wasted a little too many bombs in this boss fight. Like, honestly, one thing I should think I should start doing, maybe, is... Actually, how do I say it? Um, if there's ever a situation where I have four bombs, I should use one bomb and then leave three so I can death bomb twice. Because that's probably the best thing you can do. If you have five bombs, I guess you can death bomb three times. But that's if you get five bombs. It's kind of hard to say. So if anything, you have triple the amount of lives it says you do, depending on how many bombs you get. Like, you potentially have, um, you know... You could it could technically be like four times where you lose your first life, you know? That's why saving up bombs is really good. I mean, that's probably not the intended way to use your bombs. But, I almost never use the bombs for, like, actual, um... I really use them to attack. They're not really that offensive in this game. I mean, Marissa's bomb is still the best, obviously, but I'm not playing as Marissa. And Romilia's bomb is just kind of okay, and Sakia's just flat out suck, in my opinion. So that's why I think bombs are just way better to use for when you die. So that way you can, like, live longer. I've never seen this before. Yeah, first time I saw, um, Kainé's spell card. You have to survive it for 20 sec- 25 seconds, dude. I killed it. Wow, that was the- I got that first try, too. That's one thing I was really proud about this run. I got, I got my first rank 1 on Kainé. <laughs> that almost never fucking happens. But I just played so well on that stage that I actually got it. Anyways, here we go. We have Reimu's stage. Raymu stage, Marissa stage, whatever you prefer. I do think it's such a genius idea to make you fight one of the two playable characters in this stage. It's kind of like Sonic Heroes, where the teams go against each other. Or actually, Sonic Adventure, even. Where, like, you fight against, like, an opposing teammate. Like, you'll fight against, like, Knuckles or Sonic or Gamma like that. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and in Knuckles' case, he just goes, Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> well, that, that death really sucked. <laughs> yeah, you get two free bombs on this stage, so it can be pretty worthwhile to use them against Rain, though. Actually, if anything, getting two bombs, it's like getting an extra life, really. I should start treating it that way. I love Reimu's little attack animation. She starts, like, flailing her arm around. <laughs> Never really got to pay much attention to that, but... Now that I'm not the one playing, well, I mean, I, it is me playing, but I'm not playing it right now. It's funny, I just get to see her, like, swing her little arm and flap it like that. It's funny. Panic bombed there.
Another panic bomb. Panic bombs again, damn. That's unfortunate. And then I died. Here's where here here's what I mean when I say the Raymu fight went really shitty. I used like all my bombs, I death bombed. Actually, I don't know if I death bombed even. I think I just straight up died. Hard to say. But yeah, this went really badly. But I think I am getting slightly better at this part here. Well, not really, I had to bomb again. Don't you get another set of bombs in this section here? Yeah, you get two extra bombs, so that's like another extra life, if anything. Yeah, and then I had the, I had the bomb again. No. I can't wait to come back to the bamboo stage when I end up having to do the extra stage. That'll be fun. You know, another thing I just I didn't think about until now is I mean, yeah, obviously I'm gonna have to fight, um, I'm gonna have to fight, you know, Moko. But I kind of forgot about the fact that you also have to do a Kaine rematch as well. <laughs> That's another thing. And I don't know how bad Kaine is gonna be. But if any other, if any of the other, um, mid-bosses or anything to go by, um, probably pretty annoying. Anyways, Concentrate is really not that hard. I don't know why I struggle with it so much. It's all about positioning, you know? spell card. <laughs> now, second time I got to see this. I fucking died immediately. Damn. I guess the next thing is to try and see Bunni's final spell, huh? <laughs> That'll be the next thing. It would have been so sad if I just died there at the start at the start of the stage. Would have been so unfortunate. Time to party. Honestly, it probably will be for the best if I just stopped after um this is this attempt. Because man is it hot in here. I can't wait till the summertime and the the AC gets st starts to get turned on on the house more often. Maybe summer will actually be easier than spring. Who knows? That's probably not going to be the case, though. Yeah, here's Tay being a little bitch again.
I mean, honestly, rewatching my, uh... Rewatching my playthrough isn't that bad, honestly. I don't mind that I'm getting a... Like, like, this is why I don't really like to save the replays all that much, because I have my own replays right here. And, so, you know, like, this replay right here is more than good enough. And I can see how I can, uh... I can see how to get better at this. Oh yeah, those two bombs before the boss are really nice as well. It's like an extra life in itself. Here's Bunny again, everybody's favorite. I find it to be a really cool detail though that like the background starts to shake and like twist. It's a really cool detail. Anyways, yeah, this Boonie fight was way better than the, than the Reimu fight. And which I mean to say, it was way better than my uh, previous attempt at Boonie. Because I didn't die to Thug Shaker. Um, and I just overall didn't die as much. If I can get a Boonie, if I can get a Boonie fight where I don't die at all, that'll be pretty good. Don't know if that'll happen, but man, it would be nice. Yeah, this one is really easy. You shouldn't have to bomb it. Most of the bullets just fly past you. That was unfortunate. Okay, well I didn't say it was a perfect Boonie fight. It's certainly not as bad as it was last time. Like, I need to stop panicking when I get to that part. That part might help. Anyways, yes, I have been practicing this spell card specifically. And I've gotten slightly better at it. I say as I bomb it immediately. <laughs> now Boonie's gonna be way harder to kill, mate. Yeah, so that kind of sucked. But I was pretty happy because I was going into Boon I was going into um, Kaguya stage with five lives. I guess six. Yeah, five lives. Five lives is pretty good, but obviously five lives wasn't enough, as you can see. So there's either two things: I can either do better at Kaguya's fight, or do better at the other stages and keep more and carry more lives into the final stage. Either would be fine. Which is an amazing song, by the way. I was listening to this song the other day. But yeah, I really need to get better at this stage. Like, the... the... Oh god. Oh god, the game lag. What the fuck? What the hell is happening with my recording, bro? Did it do that? Did it actually do that in my recording? Or is it just like the OBS thing being weird? I can't tell which one it is. Now the, now the audio is like out of sync. Eh, it's not a big deal really. 
Actually, can I pause the recording and maybe it'll fix itself? I think I fixed it. Anyways, here's here's um Galaxy in a pot, which I did better at this time. Okay, never mind, I didn't do better at it. But trust me, I can beat that without dying. I've done it a few times. Get four lives for the Kaguya fight this time. Oh, four Which lives. Is slightly better. Okay. Yeah, four lives is better. It's better than two lives, that's for sure. I wish I had full power for this fight, though. Anyways, I really wish I could practice her other spells, but sadly I can't. I don't mind having to bomb this one, because this one really sucks. Yeah, I really didn't want to die there, but kind of kind of just happened. And I bombed again. Yeah, so that's already a big mistake right there. Honestly, though, the important thing about this fight is that I'm able to get more spell cards so I can practice more shit. I wouldn't mind practicing this one either. I'm pretty bad at this one. Even though it doesn't really seem too bad. Obviously, the more times I do this fight, it'll get better. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't really tell, but I was actually, like, kind of shaking here. So, I ended up making a few mistakes as well. But yeah, that spell's really easy. Honestly, it feels like my recording is gonna, like, collapse on itself. <laughs> Alright, new spell card. I didn't even try with this one, bro. Like, I fucking sucked at this one. I do need to practice these. That's what I'll do after this. I'll, I'll practice them on my own time and get better at them. Cause that one doesn't look that bad, honestly. I'm just being piss at it. Anyways, this attack is pretty damn cool. I'm really bad at it, though. As you can see. Almost got it without dying, though. There's another impossible request. And honestly, this one doesn't look that bad. And yet I died anyways. Yeah, oh, anyways, here's her final spell this card. This is her last spell card. Yeah, see, I said it. I don't really know how you're supposed to dodge that, by the way. <laughs> I have to practice that one. I honestly have no idea how to dodge it. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's very beautiful, though. I will say. Where do I die, anyway? <laughs> Oh, right there. Okay, that's that's the, that's pretty good. We've made it as far as the final spell card, so if we do just a little bit better, we can beat it. Yep, there you go. So that is um 
that's that, guys. That's, uh, that's as far as I got when I did my practice yesterday, so... There you got to see my attempt at, uh, my two attempts at Kaguya. And you can see that I almost beat, I almost beat her on my second try, which is fucking crazy. So, yeah. I'm gonna do some more practice now, though, off-screen. But, thank you guys for watching Toho 8 anyways. And, um, if I get my practice in today, um, I might be able to do another 1cc attempt tomorrow, today, I don't know when. I'll have to see, I'll have to see when I'm free, because I don't remember what I'm doing today. Oh shit, wait, it's Wednesday today, isn't it? That means I gotta play fucking Honey Pop. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna do that later today instead of... Well, I'm still gonna do my practice, like, after the recording. And I don't remember if I was doing anything else today. Um, I'll let you know. I thought you said Kazuya was in Toho. You know what? I mean, that's, that's fine, too. <laughs> that's fine, too. King of the Iron Fist. Alright, guys. Well, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, I'm gonna go practice more of Kaguya spell cards. So, see you guys then.